Welcome back sports gamers, it's The Natural. After news after news is broken recently regarding pretty much the fall of the NCAA and its outdated archaic principles and Supreme Court justice ruling against them and then coming out finally saying that they can after you can't make money off their own likeness and it's like all this coming together and everyone's asking and athletes online on Twitter, social media are asking, what does this all mean now? And what does it mean for EA Sports College football? While we all patiently await the 2023 college football return, and make sure you check out the video below, I did drop the exact date that's most likely in that area that's coming. EA released a statement following the legalization of the name, image, and likeness across the country. They put out an official statement on this stating we are watching the recent developments regarding student athlete name image and likeness very closely it's still very early stages at this point and we plan to explore the possibility of including players in ea sports college football for now our development team is focused on working with our partners at clc the college licensing commission to ensure the game authenticity showcases the great sport of college football and the more than 100 institutions sign on to be featured in our game so it remains to be seen how exactly ea will navigate this new system in college athletics that said the company remains open to exploring the possibility of including real life college athletes in the game for the very first time you have to know that you know back in the day when the game was out they had that legal gray area where they had unnamed rosters but they had the same numbers attributes and physical physical features of the athletes it was replicating so even though it didn't say Vince Young you know he had his number and it looked exactly like Vince Young but now we can have the full likeness and of course people you know downloaded the name still included but that was until 2013 when the class action lawsuit shut all that down so authentic college rosters and player likes this would be enormous to get for ea sports college football actual players and coaches would definitely have an impact on the depth and visuals and just the all-around presentation of the game seeing the actual coach on the sidelines just like how we have with madden and 2k and the other sports games not to mention it could lead to return of two of the best features from the golden era in some football importing draft classes into madden and importing your campus legend to continue his career into madden superstar mode that kind of continuity is part of what made the previous title special you kind of had that link between NCAA and the madden games ea however is a very different company now than it was back then so i don't know how they'll go mostly they'll probably just use this for ultimate team modes in college football so i don't have much confidence that they'll use this in the best way but i still i think it's great for us i think it's great for the athletes to see that they're getting a, a cut of the price of the pie that they've been held held back from that for so long and profiting on their own likeness profiting off your own face yourself which is crazy that it was this they they pulled the held out for this long and people to actually supported that so it is so really great news there but i have seen people in the comments saying that they don't care anything about likeness because after x years the players aren't gonna be real anymore anyway i don't care about that i mean still you have four entire seasons of real players and even though the fre incoming freshman guys you recruit won't be real but the actual guys you have for four years you got you know you have a freshman on your team or a real life freshman you're gonna have them all the way through for four seasons or depends if you red shirts or whatever so you still have that and the fact you can have likenesses of the coaches as well i mean that's a big thing the coach isn't going anywhere unless you of course you're doing some kind of coach movement but still i mean that's a that's part of authenticity so even though you might not have those players for the full time you might play 20 seasons you're not gonna have obviously not gonna have the real players for them but who knows you can even they have some type of roster creation import it might guys might be building rosters for real life high school players uh maybe the top 200 espn uh uh you know uh, guys that they have recruits coming in who's to say somebody won't do that every single season when they build the real life actual players in the espn top 200 or whatever ranking system that they use for for high school player different ranking system so they might have that in the game where you can import that and just have real life players all the way through so interesting uh you know things of that so that's uh big news a lot of big news come in subway this week so let me know what you guys think in the comments below this video and subscribe now for more news tips reviews and gameplay from all of your favorite sports games now if you want to take your game to the next level with insider news free games and access to our private chat join our patreon the link below and subscribe to sgo insider today